right, folks, we're now inside the 1928 Chef. Uh, you can see we've got it running here. Uh, hopefully it can come out on the show us 81,658 miles. Uh, you can see we've got gauges that are doing something or trying to do something here. Okay, so we got Nate behind the wheel. We're on a uh, kind of like a back road kind of deal. So he's got it in first gear. Careful for brakes. Uh, we're using the uh, the emergency brake or the parking brake lever because uh, we got some trouble. Uh, we didn't take the brakes apart. We're on a backcountry road, uh, kind of like a narrow one-lane jobby, but now uh, we're in second gear. So we're doing 20 miles an hour. here at the dead end uh, of this road and there's some uh, hunters and fishermen so I'll be careful. second gear. And then we're going to use the parking brake to slow down. We got Armstrong, Armstrong steering. This is pretty incredible though ladies and gentlemen. 1928 Chevrolet sedan. Uh, all original. All the paint finish. The engine, everything is original other than a tune-up. We have a little portable can for fuel supply. Um, the original gas uh, tank is in the rear. As I mentioned earlier, this has been sitting in a barn for 51 years. And with a lot of finessing, we're able to, uh, to get it to run and what we refer to as lot drive. Pretty incredible. And you know what? We're on a rough back road in the suspension. It's not overly crazy. Uh, it is quite comfortable. There's quite a few potholes. It's a, a, a decently maintained road, but um, we're not bouncing all over like crazy. It's, uh, it's quite comfortable. Not every day you get to drive in a 1928 Chev on a country road, that's for sure. Suicide, suicide doors. Well, that's uh, that's quite a neat treat. I, I think that's quite a treat, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, 
about every day, like I mentioned earlier, do you see one of these guys, but being a, an original uh, vehicle, and I mean really original, so we obviously the tires at some point have been, I'm sure, new tubes and stuff, but uh, you've got the, uh, the original headlights, trim, you've got the very rare, I've been told by a few different people that that's a, uh, a one-year only Chevrolet Crest, uh, and then you've got your uh, your rad filler, the original hood, the louvered hood. Uh, you can see we've got the nice spoked wheels, and they're in very nice condition. Uh, we even have our little uh, our little marker lights uh, and the cowl. I'll just come over to the other side. So over on the driver's side, and you can see once again we've got the uh, the neat little uh, marker light there, and then even our uh, our wiper arm and motor. And then as we pull back away here, you can see the uh, the overall condition. It's uh, it's quite a neat car. So you don't see them original very often, and I think that's uh, that's probably one of the key points. You've got an original. You know, it hasn't been uh, modified or changed in any way. The paint that's on it is all the original paint. It uh, hasn't had any bodywork or paintwork done to it at all, and the nice wooden spokes uh, and the trim and so on. So it's uh, it's pretty neat, all original inside, and so a great uh, a great piece to have just the way it is. Uh, some people maybe would uh, would think about having it restored, but choice of the uh, of the person who would purchase this vehicle. So once again, it's uh, it's a 1928. Some people refer to it as the AB model. Uh, other people refer to it as the National. So it's uh, available for sale. Uh, once again, all original 1928 Chevrolet four-cylinder manual transmission sedan. Uh, you can contact me. It's John at LastChanceAutoRestore.com, and I thank you for watching.